Hey Pisces, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for the next 72 hours. Pisces, uh, I do have personals open for anybody who may be interested. Details are down below this video in the description box. There is a deal going on until December the 16th. Um, it is a three question video read for $25. So everything is down there for anybody who may be interested. Of course, Pisces, you already have some cards wanting to talk here. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it and see what we've got for you. Okay. All right. Yeah, two want to come out there, so I'm just going to take them, even though that wasn't what I intended on. I do think, Pisces, you have the world showing up here. This is your overall energy. This is a Saturn card. Saturn rules Capricorn, so you could have some Capricorn in your chart. This is also fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo, okay? But I do think there could be something that you're closing out. Um, you know, on the... Um, traditional writer weight deck she's like surrounded by this wreath so a lot of the time i can consider the world to be a card of somebody who's getting a lot of attention you could work in arts film um music you know something maybe an entertainer of some sort you know uh, this could also like this could resonate with me as a pisces as well some of you you could be like writing a book or you know like publishing a piece or something of that nature you know so you could be like signing paperwork to close that out for any of you pisces who might be moving that could be you know something going on here as well maybe you're signing documents for a new job i just feel like you're completing something like this is like the energy of the finishing touches if that makes sense you're closing a cycle some of you it could be with a person of course as well you do have the six of gifts showing up right here somebody here might have their moon in or their moon in Libra, but you don't have to. But with this energy being present here, you could be like maybe donating to charities or something like it is the season of giving. So some of you, you could definitely be doing that or you're just, you know, obviously you could be getting gifts or something of that nature, like buying gifts for people. Um, I do think for some of you though, you could be where you're completing something. Maybe you're already planting seeds elsewhere. I feel like you're going to be seeing some quick results here. It may not be like, you know, the full how do I describe that? It may not like be fully what it is that you're wanting or you're trying to achieve, but I feel like you are seeing progress. You know, it's not like you're completing the goal. It's not like you're completing it, you know, um, in one step, but I do feel like you are uh, seeing some progress with something that you're just now starting. So I feel like you're off to a good start with something here, basically, Pisces. Um, you do have center claws in the reverse position. This is the hair font. I feel like some of you, you could be dealing with like a hypocritical energy or somebody who is just like, I don't know, like not who they say they are. There's There are certain things they don't follow or maybe they like, I don't know how to describe this Pisces. This could be your energy as well. Maybe there's a lot that you know, but you're not really applying it. So it's like, what good does that do? You know what I mean? Or it's like, there's a lot that, Sometimes you can know certain things, but it's like you've not really gone through much. So, you know what I mean? You could be dealing with someone like that as well. It's like maybe there's a person who thinks they know how to tell you to do things or they know how to uh, tell you how to live or something of that nature. But it's like maybe they've not gone through the things that you've gone through, um, you know, in a way to where they could like be able to advise on this properly. So let's see what else we have here for you, Pisces. Some of you, you could be like dealing with a person who's also like painting a false picture. You know, the moon is showing up here as well. Um, the moon can be like illusions, hidden things, you know, something of that nature here. Um, so you could be dealing with somebody who is like painting, you know, an unfavorable picture of you pretty much. Let's see what else we have here. I feel like some of you, like this is something that I feel you're done keeping up with though. Honestly, for some, it may not even be necessarily that they're painting an unfavorable picture of you or that they're telling the story. It's just that maybe they're only telling a version of the story that's making them look good. It's making them come off in like, you know, a more favorable light, if that makes sense. Like they're only telling one side of the story, you know? And I, so I think some of you are simply saying like, hey, remember your part, you know? Um, let's see what else we have here. Some of you could have a Scorpio or a Virgo coming in for you, or maybe this person that you've been dealing with is a Scorpio, Virgo, maybe an Aries for some. Yeah, I feel like there could be Pisces. I just feel like there's a person here who's like not satisfied with the way that something turned out. Again, I feel like you could be getting like all the blame for this or something of that nature. And it's not that I think, again, I don't think that any of you are in a space where you're like trying to excuse yourself of something that happened. I just feel as if you're in a space where you're telling somebody like, hey, you know, you did this and this is, you know, and then things played out like this because of that. If that makes sense, Pisces, I feel like that's the energy that you're in. You're just dealing with a person who feels like they're just skin stuffed with green flags, you know, and it's really not not the case. So yeah, I think it's something 
something, like I said, that you're just done keeping up with here. You do have the um, Magus, the Magician. You have the Four of Candles, the Four of Wands, and you have the Two of Gifts. I feel like it could be a very busy time for some of you guys. I feel like you could be in a really social energy as well for some of you. Um, even if it's not that you are like feeling like socializing, I'm feeling like you're in a very busy environment. Like maybe you're at an event of some sort. Um, you know, I do feel like you're being asked, asked for things here. You're being asked to like perform something or do something with the Two of Gifts energy. I don't know. Somebody's like, hey, can you do that? Can you sing this song? Can you do that little dance? Can you, can you tell this story? You know, there's something weird like that going on here, Pisces, where I'm feeling like people are asking something of you. It's like they're impressed with you. They're wanting, they're wanting to know more. They're wanting to see more. There's something like that going on. I'm also feeling like for some of you, you're finding something out as you're supposed to. You know, some of you, you could be looking back on a situation. You're like, why did I not see this sooner? Why did I not see that sooner? Blah, blah, blah. We find out things when we're supposed to at the end of the day, Pisces. Some of you could have your moon in Libra, Scorpio, or Gemini with the mistletoe showing up. Like there could have been some sort of like interference, but I really feel like it's, it's speaking more towards the divine, putting their hands in something here and being like, you're not meant to see this just yet. Other things need to play out. Some things need to end. Other things need to begin. You need to put your focus here before I can actually show you this if that makes sense. It's like when I was pregnant with um, my youngest, he's about to turn one in a few days. Can you guys believe it? It's crazy. Um, when I was pregnant with him, I actually didn't know until going on my second trimester. And when I look back, I have this like sense memory almost, if that makes sense. Like my oldest, like this this movie like plays in my head over and over again that he used to watch uh, during that time. And when I think back on that time, I can like feel in my body what I felt during the pregnancy. And I'm like, how did I not know that I was pregnant? You know, there was this weird like disoriented like feeling that you get when you're pregnant. I'm sure women who have been pregnant know what I'm talking about. But it's like, how did I not know that that, like I even went to the doctor, like we, could, we just couldn't figure it out. I had negative tests. I had, um, you know, menstrual cycles still. It was crazy. I mean, it could have just been like spotting, you know. Um, cause you can't, like, you can't have that when you're pregnant. It's, it's common. It's not necessarily normal, but it's common. And, um, you know, I just, there were things that needed to happen before I could find that out pretty much. So, uh, anyways, you, you just find out things when you're meant, when you're meant to find them out. So yeah, I think that could be something that you're looking back on and maybe you're like, why didn't I know this then? You just simply weren't meant to know it yet, you know? So in, in timing, you know, in time things do come out. So just know that Pisces, if there's something that is like missing and you're feeling like, where's the information, you know, I feel like it is going to come out eventually. Okay. Mistletoe can also represent a turning point or a decision that you're going to make here you do have the two of swords you know two of canes that's what that is so i do feel like some of you you could be like going back and forth in your mind about something it could involve a capricorn here some of you there's something that you're trying to avoid with a capricorn <clears throat> Yeah, some of you, this could be the person who, like, you're not keeping up with anymore. Just due to the simple fact that you have the Page of Canes here, the Page of Swords, I feel like you're no longer feeding into a particular game. I also feel that for some of you Pisces, you could be realizing that a person, like, is enjoying something here. Um, so you're like, I'm not even going to fool with it. Like, I think that a person could be enjoying, like yanking your chain, you know what I mean? So I feel like it's something that you're just not, you're not going to fool with it anymore. You can tell that somebody's trying to bother you is the kind of energy that I'm getting here. You have the five of canes. Like this is probably just a nasty spirited person at the end of the day. Like I said, like this could definitely be that person who's just feeling like they, they do no wrong. Like they're a saint, blah, blah, blah. That's probably the story they're painting and you're like, whatever, you know, I think that's the energy that you're in here at this point in time. You have um, queen of good cheer showing up as well. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot that you know about this situation that a person may not realize that you know as well. Uh, some of you, it could have of a cancerian but you have 10 of good cheer you have nine of gifts i feel like you're happy you know with the 10 of good cheer showing up here there could be a new person in your life or there's just a bond strengthening um you know i feel like there's a deep connection here and you have the nine of gifts showing up i feel like there's a lot around you to maintain as well with the nine of gifts being present it's like that's somebody who is very stable um you know independent it doesn't mean that you don't have a partner in your life or that you're you know you're meant to be alone or anything of that nature it just means that you know you can do it if you if you need to right that's the energy that i get from the nine of gifts it's like a healthy connection you know it's something that is stable it's something that is not lost with space and time if that makes sense and you know with the nine of gifts being present here i do feel like it could again be a very busy time where there's just a lot to maintain um i do feel too with that nine of gifts like you could be maturing in a different way or learning something different here as well that's allowing you to be more productive it's allowing you to handle the things that you need to handle some of you if you're a female in particular i happen to lay this down on top of the moon i wanted to um put you on to something here um that i realized so uh there's a book 
called In the Flow. It's not F-L-O-W, it's F-L-O. So I highly recommend reading that and learning more about like your cycles and you know why you feel a certain way. Like this is this is what I learned from it anyway, is like why I feel certain ways during certain phases of my cycle and how I can utilize that energy, how I can best like prepare for it, you know? Um, because it's like there's just a lot in there that we just don't learn about growing up. So um, it has really, really changed the game for me, Pisces. We have the five of gifts here as well. Yeah, I feel like there's something that you're, there's someone that you're giving to here, but I don't feel that it's like a manipulative energy, if that makes sense. I don't feel that you're just like, you know, giving everything away or leaving someone out in the cold. I don't get that energy from this. I know sometimes the Five of Pentacles can represent that. I'm really feeling like you have something to give, so you're, you're giving it to someone who, you know, needs it, not somebody who is like manipulating the energy to get something they want. So I do want to clarify that. I feel like there's someone in your space who just like happens to need something and you happen to be able to give that. And I feel like you take the opportunity to do that. I do feel like the universe rewards you for that because you move from the Five of Gifts to the Ten of Gifts. That's the Ten of of pentacles really good money card but it's also you know it's more than money too it's the other things that we value the things that are more important at the end of the day like family um you know good friendships things of that nature so i do think that for a lot of you yes there's stability financially but i feel like you also have the more important things as well that spirit is rewarding you with which is a stable happy like family friendships things of that nature because at the end of the day you know friends can be family as well so i like to see that here pisces Knight of Candles. I feel like somebody's bitter at the track that you're on here. Yeah, the Chariot. I feel like you're having a victory, and it's not necessarily over them. It's like you're having a victory, you know, in life in general, and there could be somebody here who's a little bit bitter about that with the Knight of Candles energy. You know, you, he's just like watching this train go around. I feel like somebody is seeing you on track, and they're like, why? Why does Pisces get to be on track, you know? This could be a person who can't really handle rejection, or it's like you're not playing into a game that they're wanting you to play. Um, you know, you've not, like, followed their lead, or you didn't chase them in a situation. So, you know, the fallout is your fault because you you chose to stay in place and not chase pretty much is the energy that I'm getting here Pisces um this could definitely be that person who's like spreading false stories or half truths or whatever the case may be uh it could definitely be a Cancerian or a Sagittarius here but you know honestly I feel like at the end of the day yeah I mean I just I really feel like this person is, is throwing stones and hiding their hands you know and so what can you do about a person like that Pisces not really much right um I feel like you're not going to react to this you're not going to respond to this you have page of good cheer showing up some of you there's a message coming in from a water sign or from a Capricorn I feel like this could be somebody who has held something back from you okay with the four of gifts showing up I feel like this is someone who has held something back from you it could definitely be a family member for some of you here um pinnacles to me can talk about something that is like established you know not even necessarily to me like that's something that I've started taking on that I'm trying to like stop doing because I feel like a lot of readers can do that sometimes they're like you know this is my card of this this is my card of that like no that's literally what that card means that's literally what that suit represents it's not it's not ours you know so anyways uh, we have the five of good cheer showing up here I feel like this is a person who may have been disappointed at a turnout you know and I think again I feel like this could definitely be a family member it could be a lover but you know I feel like there could have been a falling out over a loss of some sort condolences if that's the case my condolences i feel like it could have definitely been like a, a loss like a physical loss here Ooh, there could have been a falling out over that here pisces anything else for pisces here for next 72 eight of canes yeah i'm seeing someone reach out like this could be a person who's like missing you around the holidays you know uh, so again definitely looks like family for some of you like i said it could be a person you had like a really established connection with we got more capricorn energy here maybe somebody who has venus and cancer um but yeah eight of canes is showing up i would be cautious of anybody who's like feeling like they're stuck and they're wanting you to like get them out of a situation here pisces i would just really be careful of that you know like don't take on that responsibility i feel like this person could start to like expect that if that makes sense so yeah i mean you can help you know, a little bit, whatever, do what you want, Pisces, right? I just saw 13, 13 on the camera. Do what you want, you know, with when it, when it comes to how much you want to help a person, but just make sure that you're setting boundaries. You're not doing anything that you don't want to do. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing here, Pisces. This was a pretty crazy reading. Like it was all over the place here, but, um, I hope it helps. I hope it was fun at least. Um, details are below again, for anybody who's interested in personals, Instagram, Patreon, don't forget that the deal I have on personals, it closes out on the 16th. Okay. Um, so if this is the 16th that you're seeing this, it's the last day. All right. Um, but if this is where we part Pisces, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.